Well, we're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. <gasps> Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. I never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's gotta learn to stand on his own two feet. Besides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. The inauguration parade is gonna be a real... You wouldn't believe how quiet these waters are. Elevator's been shut down. Oh! Hey, you guys! We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then... Squeak, squeak! I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise! <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> awesome! Alright then, now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up! With his help, it'll be a cinch! 
Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Just let me know, okay? Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just, there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? On cloud. Ribbit? Tifa. I tried to warn you. Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog. But don't worry. All you gotta do is start thinking like a frog. And you'll be fine. Ribbit. Ribbit. Ribbit.
ready to play? Come on, I love it, I promise. Ribbit? Ribbit. Okay, here are the rules. Think you two can handle it? Like you were having fun. Rip it. <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Rip it, rip it. <laughs> hey! Rip it. Rip it, rip it, rip it. <laughs> Everyone. 
one. Come and get it. Don't want to miss me. We should have never let them build a reactor in power. Crow's nest folks don't try anything stupid. Thanks to our tireless efforts. Special delivery! Coming in! Yes, there's some oil. It's in Pacific. Brittle house. Back in the day, it was lousy. Yes. 
to go up to skin. Barrett, get your shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again... Hey! Shaky. all this way and you're still full of energy uh do i know you we're sam's bodyguards your mom hired us to keep him safe and to make sure her boy got his allowance keep it i ain't taking her money i can make ends meet on my own who are they dylan friends of yours claire what are you doing out of bed you know you need to stay off your feet I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. 
Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Uh, Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Oh. Dilster, was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Ronda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's, uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. Man, you make arenas are something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Violence isn't the answer. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse, down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was, like, forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So? You gonna help, or... Me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. I get that we're brand new to the CAS, but handing up flyers... We're building a new republic. Don't know what that means. I'm a rambling, gambling fella. You with an agency? Here to sign me? No, wait. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof, savage. So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil. And I'm gonna be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Wanna play against a future celebrity?
God damn, dude! You only can't wipe the floor with me! Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won! I might actually not be cut out for this. <gasps> Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me, clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising! I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days, I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. How may I be of service to you?
spot to put up a post to you. There's no finer sound in all the world than the voice of a humble piano. Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time.
latest newsletter. Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? You want to play and help me drum up interest? you feel when you're playing someone you my friend are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood promotion committee people laugh but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can because the key to world peace isn't violence it's joy plain and simple joy comrade I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood spread the joy of gaming 
I'm counting on you. search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision, the true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come.
This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. In that voice. Could it be? Has returned? No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. This match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. Created Phoenix, the Firebird of Reincarnation from Junon Legend within the simulator. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. I hope you won't mind my mentioning, but I've observed that World Intel collection is stalled of late. I'm certain, however, a veteran mercenary like you would never abandon a task. I know you must be busy, but I'd appreciate your help. Join us, young lady. We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? 
It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but, uh... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest in a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for, until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough.
certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Oh, what if it is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is Business 101. Ugh. Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But, like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <laughs> 
Allergies. What? Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww! Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to Mama! Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done! But not to worry! I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. We'll be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a murder. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. 